is a really exciting time in the life of our congregation. Can we make our service a little longer? It's worth it. This time we are going to welcome and formally receive new members into the life of our community of faith. And as we do, we remember that the church is of God. It is preserved to the end of time for the conduct of worship, the due administration of God's word and sacraments, the maintenance of Christian fellowship, and discipline, the building up of believers, and the ongoing transformation of the world. At every age and station, we stand in the need of the means of grace that it offers. And today we celebrate the individuals who will be coming before us have been participating regularly in the life of our congregation. They've attended our new member session and have expressed a desire to become members of the South Yarmouth United Methodist Church. So, we present to you William Bill Bosworth, whom we receive into this house of God by the public profession of his faith. Bill grew up in the South Coast area of Massachusetts, however, he has deep Cape Cod roots. He's descended from several of the original settlers of Cape Cod and the islands. He raised his three sons in Falmouth, is now grandpa to a total of 14. <laughs> Engineer. He owns and operates a small business here in the Cape, has lived in Yarmouth now for over 13 years and spends all of his time with the love of his life. <laughs> he most certainly enjoys coming to the South Yarmouth and Yarmouth Church and feels like it is home. We present to you Daryl Carlson, whom we receive into this household of God by the public profession of his faith. Daryl grew up in Wilbraham, Mass., one of five children. They spent memorable summers at a family cottage in Barnstable Village. He went to the University of Massachusetts in Amherst and graduated with a BS in public health. He became a nurse's aide while in college and then became a licensed nursing home administrator. <clears throat> he was married to Patricia and they raised their three children, Ben, Sam, and Olivia, in southern Vermont. Patricia passed away from cancer in 2015. Daryl returned to his roots on the Cape in 2021, where he met his fiancée, Teresa Flusher, who was the hairdresser at a nursing center where he was working. He became part of Teresa's life by offering to help her provide care for her dad, Don, who was a blessing for all. Daryl and Teresa engaged on New Year's Eve, or became engaged on New Year's Eve, January 1st, 2023. Between them, they have nine grandkids, and Daryl is trying his best to be there for all of them. <laughs> <laughs> but not working at their regular jobs, they have been renovating their properties together. There are a few members who want to join who aren't physically able to be here with us today. One is Lisa Fornis, whom we present still, and will be receiving this household of God in absentia by the public profession of her faith. Lisa grew up on Cape Cod and graduated from D.Y. High School in 1977. She attended Connecticut College and graduated in 1981 with a degree in U.S. History. After a long career in financial services, she has retired and returned to the Cape full time. She's now busy becoming involved in various activities and groups on the Cape, including a member of the South Yarmouth United Methodist Church. She has two sons, a stepson, two daughters-in-law, four grandchildren. Her hobbies include spending time with her family, traveling, fixing up properties, crocheting, writing, and trying to stay fit. She is looking forward to making friends with other church members and participating in the social and charitable activities that are offered through the church. We present to you George Henry Chip Joyce III, whom we, re we receive into this household of God by letter of transfer from St. John's United Methodist Church of Watertown, Mass. Having been a Cape Cotter for 60 years, Chip has recently retired and now resides full-time at the Yarmouth Campground Association, which is steeped in Methodist history. Mm -hmm. He is connected to the South Yarmouth United, he has reconnected to the South Yarmouth United Methodist Church through the beach services over the last few summers and started to attend regularly right before the Advent season last year. The incredible writing and delivery of Pastor John Mueller's sermons and the Music ministry of Paul Hummings Bloom and Cameron Shippey 
uh, entreat him to transfer his membership from his hometown church, St. John's of Watertown, Mass. The next two individuals, we're going to share their vials. We're still going to receive them, but we found out just this morning that they couldn't be here because one tested positive with COVID. Oh, wow. So we hope that uh, symptoms aren't too bad and that they'll be feeling better soon. But we present to you Gail Evans Kerr, whom we receive into this house of God by little transfer from the North Side United Methodist Church in Jerusalem. Gail was born and raised in Westville, New Jersey, to a family of lifelong Methodists. She remained a faithful Methodist until she married Tom, a Presbyterian. And she converted to State Presbyterian in 2017 when they moved to the Cape. Gail first trained as an elementary school teacher and taught fourth grade in Pennsylvania until her two sons went off to college. And she went back to school and studied for a master's in spiritual formation and her certificate in spiritual direction. She began a career in that field and worked as Christian education director, and then moved to a position as a spiritual director at a counseling center at the Bryn Mawr Presbyterian Church, and worked at Princeton Theological Seminary to set up a program in spiritual formation. Since moving to the Cape, Gail has worked in private practice in that Rolling Ridge Retreat Center, a Methodist retreat center in North Andover, supervising students and programs for spiritual formation. Gail enjoys reading, painting, and watercolors, gardening. She chooses the plants, and Tom does the digging and spending time with family. She looks forward to meeting new friends at South Yarmouth Methodist Church and growing in faith here with her new community. She says, thank you all for welcoming us to their fold. And likewise, I acknowledge and accept Dr. Thomas Kerr, whom we also receive into this household of God by letter of transfer from the North Side United Methodist Church in Brewster. Tom spent 42 years in education and administration um, including 10 years as an adjunct professor for St. Joseph University. Tom was raised in suburban Philadelphia and grew up as a Presbyterian and served as ruling elder. Upon coming to the Cape on retirement, he and his wife Gail joined the Northside Methodist Church where Pastor Rebecca led the congregation. He became the lay leader and began the men's prayer discussion group that is still in existence today as developing the hospital ministry and other responsibilities as needed. He is proud to be the husband of Gail for 54 years. Together they have two married sons and five delightful grandchildren. Presently Tom serves Meals on Wheels, Flag Day related events, as a chair of the town scholarship committee and former co-chair of the, the Education Foundation for Dennis and Yarmouth. He is an active Cape League for fans and roots hard for the deep Roots hard for the D.Y. Sox. I'm not a baseball person, sorry. <laughs> Tom is extremely proud to be the participation of this congregation in the Cards for Kids program, where this congregation raised over $4,000 during COVID to assist children of this school district. We did that together a couple of years ago. He offers his thanks once again to all who participated. He looks forward to new opportunities here to serve the South Yarmouth and to be used all in person. We present to you Nancy E. McCarthy. When we receive into this household of God by letter of transfer from the Orleans United Methodist Church, Nancy was born in Fall River to Benjamin and Evelyn Entwistle. She was baptized and confirmed at the Quarry Street Methodist Episcopal Church in Fall River. Her Aunt Ruth was her first Sunday school teacher. She started singing alto in the choir at around 10 or 11 years old. She graduated from Bristol County Agricultural School, majoring in ornamental horticulture. She opened Pembroke Florist and Greenhouses in 1972. Nancy and her husband moved to Oregon in 79, back to the Cape in 82. She opened the Dennis Fort Dollhouse that year, and it closed in 2005. From 1995 to 2020, Nancy was the organist and choir director for the Orleans United Methodist Church. She now substitutes occasionally, and her hobbies include reading, puzzles, and gardening. Last summer, Nancy housed a J1 student from Romania. This year, she has one from China and one from Romania. She lives with two very sweet dogs, Sam, an Anatolian Shepherd, and Lila, Black Lab Mix. For a few years, she shared her home with Anna Tassari, and her daughter Susan enjoyed their com company. She's blessed with four dear friends on Cape Cod, acquired from the church association, some music involvement. She's been a member of the Cape Cod chapter of the American Guild of Organists since 1982. Nancy's glad to have landed at the South Yarmouth United Methodist Church. Again, we pre present another member who is in absentia. We present to you Suzanne Rollins. She's here. Oh, she's here. <laughs> <laughs> She was 
married to an officer in the Army, and was fortunate to live in many places, including Kentucky, Arizona, Virginia, Michigan, and Germany, yay, before settling on the Cape. She enjoys her time with family. Her son and daughter are both on the Cape, along with her two grandchildren. We present to you Anna Tassari, who we receive in this household God by letter transfer from the Royal Age United Methodist Church. Anna was born in Arlington County, Virginia, was adopted and raised in Huntington, West Virginia. She was baptized at two weeks of age through Catholic Charities. She has 12 years of parochial school, one year of college. She came to Cape Cod in the spring of 72. She spent four years in the Houston, Texas area, then came back to Cape Cod. She's been married twice, has one child, two grandchildren. She loves animals, learning, music, reading, sports, arts, and crafts, camping, gardening, and movies. She still works as a certified pharmacy technician, right? The CVS. We present to you Suzanne Mastry White, whom we receive into this household of faith, um, who is the public profession of her faith. Suzanne is married to Richard White, and they live in West Yarmouth. She's originally from Pennsylvania and Tennessee, and moved to Cape Cod in 1990. She recently retired from her career in healthcare administration. She loves spending time with her husband and their two dogs. She also loves crafting, designing, sewing, gardening, and hiking. Her Christian faith is strong and biblically, biblically based. She shares with us that she feels very much at home in the South Carolina United Methodist Church. And thanks to all of us for our consideration, considerations. And we present to you Richard Rick White, whom we receive into this household of God by the public profession of his name. Rick is married to his beautiful wife, Susanna. <laughs> They've been married for 13 years, as we heard, live in West Yarmouth with their dogs. Rick's retired from the Army National Guard and the Yarmouth Police Department. He continues to work part-time for the Yarmouth Police Traffic Team, enjoys spending his free time with his family, working in the yard, fishing, hiking, and researching old historical sites for metal, metal detecting. <laughs> Thank you. Would you all please turn to the Sisters in Christ, through the public profession of our faith, we state our commitment to Christ or renew and, and, and confirm the, the covenant that was declared on our baptism. Right? We acknowledge what God's been doing in our lives, commit ourselves to Christ's holy church, and by doing this, we give our lives over once again to the movement Jesus started, but it's also an opportunity to boldly declare once again who we are and whose whose we are. And so on behalf of this congregation, we're going to ask you these questions. Do, we, do you renounce the spiritual forces of wickedness, reject the evil powers of this world, and repent of your sins? Yes, I would say yes. Mm -hmm. Do you accept the freedom and power that God gives you to do these things? Because you can't do it on your own. The power that God gives us to resist evil, injustice, and oppression, whatever forms they present themselves. And so please say, I do. I do. Do you confess Jesus Christ as your Savior, put your whole trust in His grace, and promise to serve Him as your Lord in union with the Church, which Christ has opened to people of all ages, nations, and races? And so say, I do. I do. I do. do you receive and profess the Christian faith as contained in the scriptures of the Old and New Testaments? And so say, I do. As a member of Christ's universal church, will you be loyal to the United Methodist Church and do all in your power to strengthen this ministry? If so, please say yes. And then as members of this congregation, right, will you faithfully participate in its ministries by praying for the people who want to undergird everything we're doing there, by attending worship regularly? You understand there are times you can't make it, but making that a commitment. Take advantage of opportunities for service and study, participating in something beyond worship. That's how we really grow in the community. And by making a financial pledge to the mission and ministry of this church, because without it, this doesn't happen. If so, please say, I will. I will. Thank you. And now, congregation, do you, as Christ's body, the church, reaffirm both your rejection of sin and your commitment to Christ? If so, together let us say, we do. We, we do. do. Will you nurture one another in the Christian faith 
and life and fully include these people who share be stand before us in your care. If so, again, let us respond by saying, we will. We will. Let us pray. Lord, may your Holy Spirit rest powerfully on each one of these individuals as they formally join with us today, those here physically and those here in spirit. And may their continued participation within this community of faith enrich their lives, enable them to grow in grace, to flourish, and to know your peace. And may their love for you deepen through their participation here and bless not only their own lives, but the lives of many others around them. Having been born of both water and the Spirit, Lord, may they continue to be faithful disciples of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Members of the household of God, we commend to you Rick, Suzanne, Anna, Nancy, Bill, Daryl, Chip, and Suzanne, and Lisa. Gail and Tom. We commit them to your love and care. You all in your power to continue to increase their faith, confirm their hope, and perfect them in love. Let the church say, Amen. 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 We invite you to receive, warmly receive your new members. <laughs> Let's stand and sing.